simple compile time dynamic programming using const extra. There's always a cheat. With const extra, we can write very simple functions with arrays and loops, and that's all we need to be able to write dynamic programming algorithms and graph search. Consequently, at compile time, we can do all sorts of wacky optimization problems. Woohoo! We're going to demonstrate this with matrix chain multiplication. If we had a whole chain of matrices, providing the number of columns on the left-hand matrix was equal to the number of rows on the right, we can just multiply them out as in a deep neural net. And because of associativity, we can do these sums in any order. However, order matters. In this matrix here, if we went A1 times A2 times A3, it costs 7,500 operations. If we did A2 and A3 second, first and multiplied that result by A1, it's going to cost us 75,000 operations. So we want to optimize it. Central to this is an optimization of the cost function. The cost function here, in this example, we consider A1, A2, and A3, and A4 matrices. If we split them in two, there's a left-hand matrix chain of A1 times A2, a right-hand chain of A3 times A4. The cost of this is the cost of the left-hand chain, the right-hand chain, and the cost of the split, which is multiplying these two red result matrices together. We can efficiently implement this by working in a bottom-up way, <clears throat> solving smaller subproblems first, and caching the results in an array called the dynamic programming matrix, where the row and columns are the position of the start and the end of the chain that we're uh, calculating. We reuse the results of the small subproblems um, <clears throat> to calculate the cost of the larger chains. This is an example of the DP matrix, rows, columns, start point, end point. So what we're going to do is we're going to go across this table like this. This is rows of length one. So I just multiply one matrix, one, one, two, two, three, three. This has zero cost because we're not doing any multiplication. Next, we move on to chains of length two, one to two, A1 times A2, A2 times A3, A3 times A4, and put the cost in. These are just matrix range of multiplication costs. Chains of length three, there are variations here. There are two, two ways we can do this. We put the cheapest value in, and we store the split point. And finally, that's the, our target. So the algorithm, we work bottom up, iterate over chains of length one to n, and for each chain, we start from position one, sorry, for each chain length, we start from position one to n minus len, and evaluate the cost of these chains. Inside each chain, we work along the, each point, we work out what the optimal cost is by using the cost uh, function that we used earlier. And we store the split point in the split point matrix and the cost in the DP matrix. From a code point of view, it's challenging. We pass in an array defining the matrix size. Matrix size. Um, we have two um, local variables, square arrays, which we store the DP and the split matrices and we return the split matrix, the square matrix. First thing we do, we go down the uh, trace of the matrix, setting it to zero. That's because we have length one chains having zero cost. Then we perform the outer loop of the iteration, um, iterating over the lengths of the different chains, from size two to size len. And then inside that, we iterate over the starting position. And then over that, we iterate over the split points using the cost formula and storing the values in the dynamic programming matrix and also this, the best split. To do this function uh, live, we will declare in the middle there a const extra auto split. This is evaluated at compile time, and it's initialized by calling matrix chain DP. There's the output for the simple example, and it's got a god bolt. A better example of seeing if it actually works is to run it on a chain of 12 matrices and um, um, run the naive um, matrix multiplication and time that at 172 milliseconds. And finally, run the optimized version in the new wacky sequence in only nine milliseconds. So you can do compile time optimization simply. And finally, this is the hard version that you might thought you were going to get with metaprogramming. Uh, these are the resources. Oh, it doesn't do back. So if you want to get the godbolts for them, they're there. Thank you very much.